Monkeypox is not a new virus. Not only is this not COVID, but the situation is that we know an awful lot more about this virus. Monkeypox is a viral infection. So it's a virus and it's typically found in parts of Central and Western Africa and it can be found in rodents, it has been found in monkeys and it can infect humans as well. It's important uh, for people to be aware of the symptoms, fever, headache, uh, chills, muscle aches, uh, feeling really tired, getting swollen lymph nodes um, and you can also get rash. It can start on the face, it can go elsewhere including to the genitals. So it's a little bit like chicken pox. It, it sort of looks a bit like that and it goes through sort of stages until it finally forms a scab and then that falls off. This isn't another sort of COVID situation. Monkeypox is not sort of airborne. It's not, not that easy to spread between people. So you need to have quite close contact. So respiratory droplets, if someone coughed directly in your face, broken skin, and you, you have contact with that broken skin, um, to bodily fluids as well, contaminated clothing or, or, or material. But at the moment, we're seeing an unusual situation. There are quite a large number of cases that have been confirmed where you don't usually find this virus. The virus is spread throughout Europe and North America. Australia, Israel and Switzerland are the latest to report a presence of the virus. The World Health Organization warns more unlikely to be reported. There are two strains of the virus though. One is known as the Congo strain and the other is the West African strain. The cases that we're seeing at the moment around the world seems to be the milder West African strain, but it is still an unusually large number of cases. It's not COVID on, on many, many levels. So monkeypox is, is not a new virus. It was first identified uh, in, in laboratory monkeys, I think it was in 1958. So we've known about it for a long time and we do have a vaccine, a vaccine against smallpox that also offers protection against monkeypox. But the virus is a bit more of a concern among vulnerable people. So people who have weakened immune systems, uh, pregnant people, nonetheless, it's not a, a very deadly disease, but the important thing is not to let it get into those vulnerable populations. We might well see cases going on and on for some time now because clearly there has been spread in the community, it has been passed from person to person. But the important thing here is that it's not a case that anyone needs to panic and the risk to the general population, uh, experts have been saying, does still remain low.